Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and if you've been looking for an alternative audio system over your TV speakers, or if you have a computer that you want to enhance the sound, or even if you have a smartphone and you want to Bluetooth to a speaker, this video is for you. So I will tell you that a company called Fiano sent me over this D5 audio system, and I didn't really know much about it, so after a little bit of research, this particular product has a four and a half star on Amazon, plus over 6,000 feedback. So with that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that you need to know. But when I received it, I thought it should be in a bigger box, but there's a reason for that. If you look at it, there's no way a soundbar can fit in something so small. But the interesting thing is that I realized the speaker comes in parts. So you have one part of the soundbar, and then you have the other side of the soundbar. And what you'll find is a audio cable on the insides and all you need to do is just interconnect them and then you're gonna take both speakers and put them together, twist it and they snap into place and you're good to go. And they integrated the line very well. Look at that, it looks like it's one long speaker now. On the back of it, it has plenty of inputs plus it does support Bluetooth 5.0. You have an auxiliary input, a fiber optic input, HDM arc, a power input and a subwoofer output. To make the speaker look more premium, it looks like they went with more of a piano black finish. However, it's more subject to fingerprints and reflection overall. On the left hand side, it appears to have a bass port, but it doesn't. And on the right hand side, you'll see a power button as well as a volume rocker. Now when it comes to the subwoofer, it uses a 5.25 inch woofer, so it's not gonna really shake everything in a room, but with the port enclosure that you get with it, it's gonna fill the room up pretty well. Plus, I like the fact that it's so thin that it can slide right behind your TV, entertainment center, or underneath your couch, or anything that's nearby. You can see the sound bar is about 29.1 inches long when put together and the subwoofer is around 14.1 inches tall so it's going to fit most people's applications. And here's a closer look at the remote control that comes with it. At the top you can see there's controls for auxiliary, Bluetooth, optical, HDMI. There's also an independent treble and bass button and at the bottom you're going to find some presets like music, dialogue and movie. It comes with a power cord and the great thing is the sound bar has everything built right into it. It comes with a 3.5 to RCA adapter. It includes a HDMI cable, a setup guide, a user's manual. And this is cool that it comes with a wall mount template so you don't have to guess on where the screws go. And it does come with the wall mount bracket so if you don't want to put it in front of your TV, you can easily mount it on the wall. Instead of having a display, this particular speaker uses a series of LEDs to let you know which input it's on. You have green for auxiliary mode, blue for the Bluetooth mode, yellow for the fiber optic, and Scion for HDMI arc mode. And it does have indicators to let you know where the status is for a particular feature, like this is treble, you can see bass as you turn it up, just to give you guys an example. Plus there's a button on the remote control where you can turn all the indicators off all together. And when it comes to Bluetooth, all you need to do is just press the remote control where it says Bluetooth. Next, all you need to do is just go ahead and select it, and that's pretty much it. Plus, it allows you to control the different tracks with the remote control that comes with the D5. To set it up using HDMI is very easy. Just go to the back of your TV and plug it in where you see HDMI arc. Go ahead and plug in your HDMI cable coming from your TV. Plug in the non-powered subwoofer, and last, go ahead and plug in the power supply to power everything up. And they also include different instructions so you can hook it up and configure just about any television on the market. Setting up an ARC speaker can vary from TV to TV, but I'm going to show you guys how you set it up on a Samsung television. The first thing you want to do is click on sources and then go over to where it says connection guide. Once that opens up, you want to go ahead and choose HDMI ARC. The next thing you would do is go over here and press next and then set up now. Since we're using HDMI, we're gonna set it up as an HDMI receiver and then go ahead and close it. Now this is a confirmation screen, but whenever you turn the volume up, you can see that it's in receiver instead of TV speaker. Next, we're gonna to listen to a few demos, but I will tell you this is a recording. So uh, if you wanna get the best sound quality, make sure you go ahead and put headphones on. Shoo. 
So after doing some demos, I was very happy with the sound quality. The only thing it lacks for me is that it didn't have really low bass. So I think it cuts off about 54 hertz. But what I was really impressed with is the 3D effect where it sounds like audio is coming from every direction listening to this speaker. And the fact that you have a bass and treble control that you don't really have anymore makes it that much better. Now one thing's worth mentioning here is that this speaker is Roku ready. What that means for you guys, if you have a soundbar and you plug in a non-certified speaker into a Roku TV, it will not support it, nor will it show you the options to use the volume control. However, with this soundbar, you plug in an HDMI cable, the Roku TV finds it, and you can control everything that you need to with the remote control that comes with the Roku, which makes it even better. But if you guys are interested, I'll leave out a link so you can go read those reviews that I've been doing before I did this video. And I think you guys will be very happy, especially if all you have is TV speakers. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!